Okay, I have now used my um, sample that I sewed on as a pattern to cut out this identical piece. Um, I am now going to lay the right sides together of the fabric and pin them together. So on the inside, the right sides are, of the fabric are touching. So we're gonna work on pinning all the way around. Um, when pinning, make sure that you're actually looking and lining up the two edges of the fabric and you're putting your pin in and back out. Some people tend to put their pins just like in, but that doesn't work. You need to make sure they're in and back out, okay? For you guys, you need to make sure you pin all the way around because we will be sewing and lining up these fabrics. Um, at this time, it is time to sew along three of the edges. Um, we're gonna leave one of the short edges open and we're gonna do a 5 eighths of an inch seam. So um, I'm going to take my first pin out and line it up on the 5 eighths of an inch mark and starting at the very edge of the fabric. Remember two of my layers are underneath. Um, I'm using a red stitch so you guys can see the contrast but you would want to use um, a color thread that um, matches your fabric so people can't see it so we are going to start do a couple stitches hold the reverse button go back to the beginning my machine is going a little quick yours will be a little slower and then continue all the way down, lining up, making sure you can only see this eighth, five eighths of an inch, number eight, sticking out. Take your pins out as you go. Adjust your fabric to keep you straight. When I get to the end of the fabric, I'm going to go all the way to the end, back stitch three or four stitches, and come off the fabric. Again, I'm watching this eight, making sure it's the only thing sticking out. When I get close to the end, I am going to be ready to stop. Put, hold the reverse button, reverse three or four stitches straight, and then come off again. Lift up my presser foot, pull out my thread and my project, and either use the scissors or the shears and the thread cutter. Trim my threads. As you can see, it's connected two of the pieces. You don't need to open yours, but I'm just showing you how it worked. Okay, and you would want to continue this and do the same thing along this short edge and then along this long side as well, cutting the threads at the end. This edge here will actually line up right on the same black line. That's okay. These won't because the side is a little shorter because of the serge. So your red line would go right across this. Um, but see how they're different here? It'll be the same 5 eighths here and that's okay. 